is just around the corner, and fresh flowers are always yes. such a great way to say I love you to mom. And here to show us how to make a gorgeous flower arrangement without breaking the bank, we have Francesca McCohen, founder and artistic director of Franzi Flower Design. Thank you so much for coming Thanks in. Thanks so much for having me. Okay, yeah, so I think these look gorgeous to start with. They're perfect. Thank you. Well, these are just our ingredients. And today we brought in ingredients that anyone at home can find in their local grocery store, Trader Joe's, and even some greenery that you can find in your backyard. So this is really trying to keep it down to the $20 mark when you typically would pay for this bouquet about $60. Oh yeah, I mean wow. Mother's Day, there's always so much pressure to get flowers to mom and it can be, I mean I've sent my mom flowers several times yeah. and I'm always horrified <laughs> at the miniature arrangement that arrives and it's like a hundred bucks. Yes. So you're going to teach us how to do it. I'm going to teach you how to do this and we have a really simple trick here in the florist world. So you okay. can't go wrong. You can pick any flower that you'd like in your vase, whatever speaks oh, to I'm you. I'm picking one of these because you said these have a really cool name. That's called the Pink Floyd Rose and I have an Alstroemeria here and the trick is, and you can pick one piece of greenery as well. Okay. Any type of greenery. One flower, one piece of greenery. Exactly. And we have a really unique trick here uh, that you're just going to cross to the left. So form an X with your stem. Hold on, I'm still trying to get <laughs> You're gonna does it do matter which one crosses? It doesn't matter. You're okay. always going to design in your left hand if you're a right-handed person, and okay. then you're going to use your right hand to do all the work. So you're going to. What if you're left-handed? Opposite. You'll design in your right hand, and I've never actually had to think about it. And then design with the left hand. So many questions, Jennifer. Here, I'm Brown. doing it. This I'm just going to do it. Whatever you're comfortable with. So I'm you're a left-handed person gonna living in a right world. You're going to form an X, and you're going to rotate. So cross to the left, turn to the right, or cross to the right, turn to the left. What if no? you're left-handed. Okay. All right. Grab another stem. Any stem in your vase? Okay. Cross to the left or cross to the right. Turn to the right or turn to the left. I'm going to okay. do it for a right-handed person if that's all right. Yeah, I'm going right-handed with speed. you. No worries. All right. So cross to the left, turn to the right. And you're always going to be holding it at the middle. Oh, I forgot the turn. Cross to the left, <laughs> yep. turn to the right. So cross oh, to my. the left, but turn to the right. But you keep them fanned out? You keep them fanned out. You can keep them as tight or as loose as you like. <laughs> So cross to the left, turn to the right. And I actually have picked some greenery here. So this is called... Can I start picking some of the, the Go ahead. other stuff? What is this? That is called Queen Anne's Lace. Oh, that is Queen Anne Lace. Oh, pretty. <laughs> this <laughs> is called Pittosporum. And you can actually probably find this in your backyard. It makes a great uh, greenery that florists use all the time as a filler. Oh, yes. I have Pittosporum in my backyard. <laughs> what happens with the flowers keep it in the head? So as keep this is crossing my to the left and turning to the right. It's really important that you turn because... Why? what. What this does is the stems support each other. So that way they all hold each other in as you twist. We've Cross got to the left, turn to the right. Isn't that a Spice oh. Girls song? It, it, I really left. feel like it, it could be, right. honestly. So we're going to keep crossing. I've got some amazing eucalyptus here. Okay. So Francesca, I could come to your flower bar on Saturday and do this, right? Absolutely. We do it every Saturday from 10 to 5. Uh, it's a really unique concept because it's the only thing retail we do in the studio. And you can come in, choose every stem, uh, any color you want. Every week it's a different color scheme. And we can either build it on site or you can bring your own container in, you can build it in your own container. And you have this Mother's Day workshop coming up this weekend where people can come and do a number of different things. So I have the Mother's Day workshop in May. It's actually on Mother's Day and it will be at the JW Marriott Hotel downtown. And it's a really fun workshop because it's three workshops in one. So that's a flower design workshop, that's a calligraphy workshop, and spa by JW. Ooh, so nice. it's really about that's pampering mom. Uh, if you want to join mom, we've got an amazing F&B selection. We have a crep station. Like, I feel like I would just go for the crep station. Oh, yeah. Bananas and Nutella all the way. <laughs> you make this look so easy, but, but actually, now, now it's actually making sense to me, see, though. See, cross to the left, turn to the right. You cannot forget it. It's just... Cross to the left, it's turn just repeat. to the right. And I think the great thing about this is that you can purchase these flowers anywhere, and you can do this at home, and it makes an extra special gift for mom. But then what do you do once the, once the bouquet is done? Do you so tie now, it up? Once it's finished, you have it like this, and we have some just simple wire on the table. You can really get this anywhere. Okay. And what you do is you just tie it around your bouquet, and... Tie it around the middle. Tie it around oh, the middle. Wow. So that way it all stays exactly. the way you arranged it. And then what we like to do is go in and you just take off those excess leaves to kind of just clean it up a bit. 
and wow. then you give it one good cut at the bottom. So that all the stems are the same exactly. length. She makes this look so easy. No, but doesn't it make sense, though? <laughs> well, this is a great tip. I love this. When you make about 100 of these at a time. That looks like, amazing. And then you Compared get... to y'all's, mine looks kind of sad. But here's the fun part. So afterwards, you just kind of give it a massage where you just put that wire, give it a little tap on the table, and it sits. <gasps> I bet y'all didn't see that well, one. It needs coming. water, though. You got to put it in you water. You can put it in water, but you can also choose flowers that typically are okay without water. For example, roses can last all day without water. So if you're doing an event at home and you want to have something really nice on the table, this is something fun that everyone can take away at the end of the day. Francesca, thank you so much. Absolutely, for my stopping pleasure. By. I love learning new stuff. And by the way, for more info on that upcoming workshop, you can visit her website, franzies.com. Absolutely. And coming up thank next, you. we have a group of local emerging designers designers that are relaunching their successful pop-up shop, some of their most popular men's items when we return.